One summer, we had a young American intern come and work for our English center in Sleimani. For this story, we'll call him John, and he helped us with different tasks and projects throughout the summer. At the end of the summer and before he traveled back to America, John wanted to celebrate by eating the traditional Kurdish food, sarupe. In English, sarupe means head and foot and consists of a broth made by boiling sheep's head and feet together. Inside the broth, there's also rice that is cooked tied up inside a sheep's stomach. The other teachers asked me if I would take John to a sarupe khana in the bazaar late at night. This is a special restaurant for sarupe open in the middle of the night where men like to eat this meal. I met John around midnight and together we drove to the bazaar. The sarupe khana that I knew wasn't open yet, it was still too early. And so we went and ate at a new sarupe restaurant. To my surprise, John didn't want only the basic sarupe meal. He also wanted to eat the sheep's brain, the sheep's bone marrow, and the sheep's tongue. And as he ate all of these new foods for the first time, he asked me if I would film him for his Facebook page. So I did and I watched as John enjoyed a very big meal. Then we walked to the center of the bazaar because John wanted to sit and enjoy the night and to smoke a big Cuban cigar. He told me that his family had a tradition of smoking a cigar to celebrate important life events and accomplishments. You can't buy Cuban cigars in America because of the problems between America and Cuba. So John was very excited that he could buy Cuban cigars in Sleimani and smoke one after eating a huge meal of sarupe. As we sat, John enjoyed his cigar and he told me thank you. He told me that this had been one of the best nights of his life. I was so glad that John had had a good time and I was surprised at what an adventurous eater he was. I eat sarupe sometimes, but I've never had the brain and the bone marrow and the tongue. I dropped John off at his apartment and we said goodbye. The next night, I came to the English center to teach my class. The other teachers looked worried and they said to me, what did you do to John? What do you mean? I said, what happened? John is in the hospital, they told me. He threw up many, many times because of the food you gave him. I shook my head. I said, I promise it's not my fault. John wanted to eat every kind of strange food there was, even the brains. And then afterward, he wanted to smoke a strong Cuban cigar. I guess all of the new food was too much for his body. Thankfully, John recovered quickly and traveled back to America. I checked his Facebook page and sure enough, he had posted all of the videos of him smiling and eating the stomach, the brain, the bone marrow, the tongue, everything. In every video, he looked happy. And I could tell that even though he had gotten sick, John felt that his experience of eating sarupe was worth it. But after that, for some reason, my center never let me take the interns again to the bazaar to eat sarupe. I hope you enjoyed this true story from my time in Kurdistan. Now let's learn some useful vocab. In my story, I said that John was an intern. An intern is like a volunteer who works a short time for a company or an organization to gain experience. When I was describing sarupe, I said that it is a broth. A broth is a kind of soup usually made by cooking meat inside of it. John wanted to eat the bone marrow. Bone marrow is Mochi Esik. 
It is the dark red material inside of bones that people eat in some cultures. I saw that John was an adventurous eater. To be adventurous means to try new things or to try risky things. In Kurdish, you can say Sergerdan Jan Serkiesha. Finally, I said that John felt that his experience was worth it. Worth it means the reward of something was greater than the cost. In Kurdish, for it was worth it, you might say Awa Ehenet. Try to practice these words in your daily conversation. 1. Intern 2. Broth 3. Bone marrow 4. Adventurous and 5. Worth it If you enjoyed learning vocab from this story, then be sure to watch my other videos where I tell stories from my time in Kurdistan. Spastanekam udastan khoshbet. Until tomorrow, hatasabeni. Fafis.